What's going on, YouTube? I'm back. 590 miles so far today. Got 60 more to go. Yeah, I haven't hit the rain yet. I've been behind. I don't know. All day it looked like it was going to rain, but I haven't missed it. It's all down south of me, and it's looked like it's rained here a little bit, but I hadn't seen it. <coughs> I am, oh, let's see, eight miles from the Georgia state line. Yeah. And then from there it's 50 miles to drop and hook. Then I'll be done for today. That's where I'll shut her down for the night. I already got food in here to cook. I ain't got to worry about going nowhere to get no food. I got drink. I got everything. I'll get up in the morning and do it all over again, head back to Texas. boring sometimes. This is why I started doing this because hell I get bored. Gotta do something. So what the hell I'll start videoing. Start making some some YouTube videos. You know I ain't got one of them big fancy Peter Bills or nothing like that. I just got old next gen can work. Can't give you no loud Jake breaks or nothing like that, but I can give you the day-to-day -day life of over the road company driver on a dedicated route. I know owner operator, I don't own shit, something breaks, all I gotta do is pick up a phone call, pick up the phone and call somebody. I ain't got to worry about coming out of pocket to fix it. That's the best part for me. But, some people I don't know, I just ain't ever got into buying my own truck and getting my own authority and all that. That's, that's a lot of headache, having to worry about the taxes and this and that. Oh God, I, I don't even want to begin to wonder. I just want to get my check every week and go on about my business and not have to worry about none of that. And every two, two to three years, I get a new truck. So. This one's close to 400,000 miles. I've had it about, we got it right at the end of 2021, 20, I think. I got it right at the end of 21, right beginning of 22. It's right when they first come out with these next gens is when I got it. I got one of the first ones on the road. And when it gets, Around five, six hundred thousand. I'll get another new truck. So until then, I got what I got, which the new one will probably be the same thing, another another six eighty next gen or a 
Peterbilt Ultra Law. That's what the company's got. 680s and Ultra Laws. We do have a couple 579s, but there's only two of those. Then we got, I got the only next to you. Then we got like three or three or four Ultra Laws, and everything else is 680s. That's enough on that. I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. 10 miles from my drop. Yeah, ain't even made it into Atlanta. I don't know. Uh, traffic normally ain't backed up here. Oh, I see some blue lights. That explains it. Here we go. Everybody want to stop and take a picture. Look, I was here. But, and again, it's just as bad right up here past this, so who knows? I don't know what's going on here. Other than traffic is stopped. I mean, completely stopped. This ain't even cool. Six miles from my exit, and we are at a standstill. Yeah, my radio's working, but I haven't heard nobody say no. I guess I should have known. <laughs> so what's the hold up? This ain't normal traffic. Not backed up this far this time of day. It ain't. This ain't normal. Well, yeah, I know this is Atlanta, but normally you get past the scales and all before you start having problems. Yeah, Turned over somewhere on the far right. Uh, 10 4. And all I got to do is get to exit 44. And, <laughs> and I'm sitting still. Maybe I should have got off on 30. Yeah, I just passed this exit. I probably could have found my way through the woods, but it's too late now. go to the last mile I got here in Georgia in all snail to drop this load. The traffic jam wasn't too bad. It was a turned over truck. I lost about 20 minutes. But, yeah, that wasn't too bad. truck in front of me is having a little problems climbing this hill. Oh, we got a flagger ahead. 
I don't see him. I see where he's supposed to be, but I don't see nobody. It's four o'clock. He must have done went home for the day. In one quarter mile, turn right on White Road. Yeah, and this right turn I gotta make up here. Sheesh! It's a heck of a turn. And boy, somebody is sitting there on that corner to come out. A lot of times I gotta sit there and hold up traffic and let them come out before I can make the turn. And I gotta turn make right on white road. this right turn from the left turning lane. Because there's no way. Yep, there's a bus there. So let's make this turn. Hopefully nobody comes up the right side of me. Yeah. They wanted to, but they stopped. In one half mile, arrive at bus stop on the left. That wasn't too bad. The bus got out of the way pretty quick. Got that bus had to stay there, then that corner would have been a little bit more trickier, but it wasn't too bad. In one quarter mile, arrive at bus stop on the left. Look at the view. Look at the skyline, the view of Atlanta up ahead. You can't really see it that good on the, the camera, but yeah. Arriving at Austin on the left. And do my drop and hook. Probably spend the night here. And uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going from here yet. So we'll talk to y'all later. Now it's the end of the day. It's what I have to cook for dinner. Actually, this is two nights worth of dinner. But, yeah, I'm cooking one of those tonight with those fries. And that's going to be dinner for tonight. Cooks it right here in the air fryer. Everything gets cooked right in there.